Hi, I'm Joan Newcomb, and today's Morning Musings is No Time, No Space. I'm doing a series of daily morning musings, and I'm using articles from my blog, Adventures in Density and Effort, as inspiration. And I'm using posts from my blog, Adventures in Density and Effort, as inspiration. Now, I wrote this a while back, so some of the information might be out of date. And if I notice that as I am reading, I will stop myself and give you the update. And then at the end, I will summarize the whole thing with the perspective of what's going on in the world today. No time, no space. As consciousness, there is no time or space. Our body experiences things linearly, that is along a timeline. And spatially, that is this is here, other things are there, but we are more than our body. Only about 20% of us energetically inhabits our physical form. Our expanded self, our self as consciousness, is the other 80%, and he experiences everything at once. All of our past lives and all of our future lives and all of our parallel lives are happening simultaneously. That means the Pope's expanded self is simultaneously experiencing his present life his past life as a prostitute in Jerusalem, and a future life as an atheist president of Planned Parenthood, as a radical example. Sometimes we get a glimpse of what this is like through the experience of deja vu. Some years ago, I was at a McDonald's with my youngest son, and I saw my reflection in the mirrored wall tile. It was a few years after my divorce, the stress of which had caused me to lose about 25 pounds, and I had recently started coloring my hair. Instantly, I felt the sensation of deja vu, and I could hear the younger version of myself, the one that had had that deja vu, saying, oh my God, I'm divorced, I'm thin, and I'm blonde. For your information, the blonde phase only lasted a year. I'm at more my natural shade of red nowadays. Recently, I had what could be described as a reverse deja vu. I had the sense of an older version of myself remembering me as I am now. I'm going to stop there because uh, I've had these sensations. So it's really interesting to be having an experience of deja vu and then actually having the memory of when I originally had this sort of future flash. And the other thing that I used to do back then, back in my 40s, and early 50s when I was going through a difficult time, I would reach out to my future self to find out how did I get through this? And so in the last few years now, I'm turning 65 this year. So in the last few years, I've started getting flooded with these requests and it's like, oh God, <laughs> here's my self from 10 or 15 years ago. And I have to say, it's okay, things do get better. So the other thing I'll say about deja vu and I think the point that I'm trying to make in this blog post is that there is no time or space, and so our future and our past will bleed through into the now, especially as you are going through this consciousness shift and becoming more sensitive and aware. The statement that I made about only 20% of us energetically inhabits our physical form, and the 80% of us is outside of form, so the thing I've experienced is that we're all going through an upgrade, our bodies are going through an upgrade, and so we can actually inhabit our physical form more, which also means that our physical form is experiencing heightened sensitivity. We're becoming more empathic, more telepathic, and actually the sense of past and future is becoming thinner. I'll have more to say when I finish reading this blog post. So whenever I feel stuck, a comforting technique is to reach out as consciousness to a future version of me, the me that already lived through this experience. Even if I can't comprehend how I got unstuck, energetically I absorb the information and it helps me navigate through whatever I'm dealing with. So that is a very reassuring thing to do. And you can do that for yourself is if you are dealing with something that you have no idea how you got through it, reach out to your future self that did get through it. You may not be able to detect the exact steps that you took, and it might not be appropriate to know the exact steps because that's part of learning how to walk through these things. But at least you know the future you out there has done it and is thriving. Back to the blog post. Then there are parallel selves. In May, I was unable to attend a workshop that I really wanted to go to. So I sent a parallel self. A couple of weeks later, someone mentioned that they thought they saw me there. And then earlier this month, I had the opportunity to attend the advanced level of this workshop. The instructor invited me 
to attend this part two, even though I hadn't gone to part one. And I got what was being taught. Even though I didn't intellectually understand, intuitively I knew and could follow along. And it was really interesting because the, there were people there, most of the people there had attended the first workshop and they were struggling to understand what the instructor was talking about. And I totally grokked it. Another way of using parallel selves is to reach out for information or experiences that you feel are missing in your present experience. The self that actually completed that degree or the self that had nurturing rather than abusive parents. It can shift your reality in ways that are both subtle and profound. I've done energy sessions retroactively with amazing results and heard of practitioners who've had parallel selves do sessions that they were too busy to schedule with equal success. This may be way too much to comprehend with your rational minds. So I invite you to playfully experiment with suggestions offered and see what happens and let me know in the comments below. So a few more things to say about there isn't any time or space. If you think of this reality as a hologram, outside of the hologram, there isn't any time or space. Everything within this is a physical construct and in this solid and dense reality, there's the rules of the past and the future. But as greater consciousness comes into form, as we collectively go through this expansion of consciousness, that outside the hologram experience bleeds into what we're experiencing now. I actually developed techniques to play with expanding time and shrinking time. You can find out more about them in my coaching special. So if you like these videos, please click the thumbs up and also click the bell icon to subscribe. That way YouTube knows to send this information out to more people. And also if you're curious about my consciousness techniques, I have a free sample down below. It's called the Skybox Technique and it'll give you an expanded perspective of your life. And if you wanna know more, my website is joan-nukem.com. I have individual sessions where I can take a look at the essence of who you are and what's going on in your life today. And I can answer any questions you might have I record them for you as well. And if you want to learn how to do this for yourself, go to my website, joan-nukem.com. I have a coaching special where you can access these consciousness techniques, especially the one with playing with time and space and things like that. And it tailor-made just for you where you work with me one-on-one -on -one and I give you individual consciousness techniques that you can transform your life. So go to my website, joan-nukem.com, and I'll see you tomorrow in another Morning Musings.